So you need the analytically curious person in terms of what's out there. You need the people that, that, that are engaged in trying to understand things at a systemic level, understanding how parts work together and understanding how policy and procedures drive the results of that. You need people that are great at, at market research and understanding the customers. Why does a customer buy from you? What is it really that they see? And so a lot of things with surveys and analysis to be able to understand that. And you need people that are great communicators. At the end of the day, it doesn't do any good if you can't really find ways to communicate it. And the most thing you need is you need the people that are, are change ready. And by that I mean very adaptable, able to, to operate in different environments. And the more change ready people are, that's the reason I have a lot of encouragement in the kind of the new generation. I think they've been bombarded with so much change that they, they come almost harnessed change ready. And the challenge is how do we how do we capture that and hold on to that so as they get older they don't ossify into a into a rigid way. And if we have those things and can apply them, we'll have to redefine the jobs that they tackle because they don't want to fit in the old roles. But if we, we'll really be able to give them a flexible way of supporting the business. An understanding of predictive analytics, um, you know, some call it big data, I call it predictive analytics, where they're not only uh, able to, you know, conduct planning and budgeting activities, but fully understand what, what is the data telling them and what kind of insights can be mined from that data. And furthermore, how can we forecast in a more intelligent way using a lot more of those leading indicators. The problem with the traditional finance function is they rely on financial indicators, which by definition are lagging indicators. So the new person coming in uh, would have uh, kind of the tuning fork, uh, you know, tuned into what are the leading indicators or drivers of value so they can start to predict value that much more uh, accurately uh, within acceptable ranges. So that's one skill. The second skill, I believe each finance person needs to spend time in the field they need to actually understand the core operation of the company. So it's more operations finance, uh, not, not the traditional management reporting aspect of finance. If they, for example, were in a biopharmaceutical company and spent time uh, in the business unit in research and development or new product development or sales and marketing for that matter and supported the field organization, when they ro rotated back into the, say, corporate finance function, they'd be that much more skilled in terms of understanding the core operation of the business. You know, as, as finance professionals, we really like to focus on finance, accounting, gap, basically transactions. So as we look beyond finance and we want to start being able to really support these business units, we really need to start getting more leadership skills, more of the soft skills. How do I communicate, educate, and train other managers to, anal to understand what I understand? And then how do I then take what they're going to tell me? how they operate, how the business actually operates, and how do I model that? So I think those probably be the two biggest ones, leadership and communication, and then the more technical modeling, understanding data and how information flows.